Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to add mask animations to your Figma banner timelines using the Bannerify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the little resources icon at the top of your Figma file. And if you click on that and search for Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y. And if you click on Bannerify, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this save icon here and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on the Bannerify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically treats every uh, parent frame or artboard on your Figma canvas as a potential banner. So you can select uh, which banners you wanna load into the plugin and click on load checked banners. And then it's gonna treat every layer inside of that frame as an element in your animation timeline to create and export that banner uh, as an animated HTML banner or a GIF or a video. So I'm not gonna go through all of the features in the plugin today, there's a bunch of other tutorials on the YouTube channel if you wanna go into detail. Today I'm just gonna be focusing on some new animation features which allows you to add mask animations that look like this. So you can see on the right hand side here in the little preview uh, that we've got some masking effects going on which are new to the plugin. So I'm gonna run through how those work now. So basically what we can do is we can go to our uh, exit and entry animations, these two here for each layer. And we've now got a new category called uh, entrances that are masked. So we've got masked entrances and we've got masked exits. So if we scroll down here, you can see we've got two different uh, categories for those. And I can basically go through and change those depending on what kind of effect I want. So if I wanted to do a square effect, so if I change that to a square effect to the uh, exit animation, you can see here that it's basically going uh, square out to the top left. So when I play that through, uh, that's how it kind of vanishes. We can slow that down. So if we wanted to make that more drawn out, uh, we can do it like that. Or we can change it to a wipe animation. So if we want it to wipe out uh, right, we can do that as well. So if I click play, that's gonna wipe it out from the right. Uh, same thing with the entrance. So I can add uh, wipe in effects. So I can do more of a wipe in from the top to the bottom, or I can do uh, wipe in left and that'll apply a different uh, position as well. So you can basically go through all of your layers now and apply these uh, wipe animations to get that masking effect. So you can see on my text layers, I'm doing a little bit of a delayed effect here. So I've got uh, these three here and I'm slightly delaying them. So that's 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So you can basically spread those out a bit if you wanna get a bit more of a delayed effect. And we can see what that looks like here. So those are gonna come in kind of one after the other. And we're also wiping those out at the end. So that's basically how you can add the mask animations to your layers in Bannerify. And then to export these out, you can either click on the export to HTML button, which will allow you to export the code to uh, just HTML and JavaScript, or you can export it to uh, GreenSock or GSAP. Uh, or if you're using a specific ad platform, you can select that as well. So we could do uh, Google Ads, for example, click on that and click on export banner. And this will generate all of the code, all of the images that we need. So if we download that to our desktop, open up that zip file, you can then open up this preview in the browser. So if we go to our browser and just drag that in, you can see here that we've got our animation uh, exported as we'd expect. So this is just pure HTML uh, that you'd be able to upload to Google Ads. Uh, we can also upload this or export this to a video. So if you want to export it to a video, you can go to this uh, button here, just click on export to GIF or video, click on the video or GIF format you want to export, and this will export it to a video for you. So these can be useful for social media posts or uh, for your website, uh, and we can do a GIF as well. So I'll just export the GIF while we're opening up the video. And if we open up the video, we can see that dragging that into the browser as well. Uh, we'll play that back. And finally, we've got our GIF as well. So if we save that to our desktop, open that one up, and again, drag that into the browser, we'll be able to preview that in here. And we can see this one is now a GIF. So uh, that's basically it. Those are the different formats you can export it to. So yeah, I just want to keep this really short. This was a really uh, frequently requested feature to have masking animations. 
So this has just been added to the plugin uh, now. So you can try this out in your own banners and hopefully it adds some more creativity and flexibility to the types of animation styles you wanna use in your Figma banners uh, for HTML or video or GIFs. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.